In this problem, we're being asked to use logarithmic differentiation to find the derivative of this function. So to use logarithmic differentiation, we'll start by taking the natural log on both sides. So we have the ln of y equals the ln of x to the sine x. The next step is to use properties of logs. So whenever you have an exponent here, like the sine x, you can actually bring it down and put it in the front. So this is the natural log of y equals sine x times the natural log of x. All right, uh, the next step is to now take the derivative. So on the left-hand side, when we take the derivative, we just have to use the chain rule. Remember, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. But here it's the natural log of y, and y is an unknown function of x. In particular, it's the one we have here. It's actually known. Um, so its derivative is just 1 over y times the derivative of y with respect to x, so just dy dx. But we don't know what it, what it is. We're trying to find it. So we just call it um, you know, by its notation dy dx. Here we have to use the product rule. Recall the product rule says if you have two functions, say f and g, and you're multiplying them and you want to take the derivative, think of f as your first function and g as your second. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here it's the derivative of sine, which is cosine. That's the derivative of the first times the second, which is the natural log of x, plus the first, which is the sine of x, times the derivative of the second, so 1 over x. All right, so now we'll multiply by y. I'm out of room here, so I'm just going to do it and like not show the steps. I'll put a y here, it cancels, put one here. So dy dx is equal to y parentheses cosine of x parentheses, parentheses, ln x plus sine x over x. And we could stop here. Um, I've been stopping here in some of the other examples, but I'll go ahead and plug it in this time. So dy dx, I say plug in what? Well, plug in y, right? We know that y is equal to x to the sine x. Um, so this is going to be x to the sine x, parentheses, and then we have cosine x, parentheses ln x, and then plus uh, sine x over x. Nice example, I think, in my view, of you know logarithmic um, differentiation. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck to you.